Hey guys, this is Rogue Flamingo and welcome to part 41 of my Guild Wars 2 personal story walkthrough. In this episode we're going to be doing Temple of the Forgotten God, which is um, part of chapter 8 of the main personal story. So um, we're going to be going back to Fort Trinity, um, which you should be familiar with by now, and Straits of Devastation. So you've probably got this uh, waypoint here for the uh, Fort Trinity waypoint, and then you just come here and then we can get started on the mission. So if you remember in the last mission, um, we had to uh, inform uh, the partner of one of our uh, fallen comrades. And that was a bit awkward. They got a bit annoyed. Uh, so I think uh, we're just carrying on from that. But I think we're going to have to move on and uh, take the fight to Zaitan, basically. And we're uh, reporting to Marshal Traherne at Fort Trinity. For too long, Let's attend his speech. We gather now with newfound purpose. Zaitan's servants storm our homelands. It is time to bring the battle back to Or. This tide will wash over Ara and cleanse the dragon's corruption. Together, we will prevail. Let the ships sail. Let the troops march. And let us find victory. A stirring <laughs> speech to her. Thank you, Absolutely. Almighty Traherne, for that wonderful Return speech. A real war leader, Marshal. Now if we can just Let's go see story, what he has to say. We'll have a chance. Thank you, friends. May fortune bless you. Good to see you. Let's get this briefing under. Hello, Traherne. I wanted to talk about Ton's widow, Sira. I understand she was inconsolable. Grief does terrible things to people. But this is war, and war manufactures grief. Ton joined the pact with open eyes. He chose a dangerous profession. He knew the risks and accepted them. Sira may never forgive you, or me, but in time she will see. Ton's sacrifice helped save thousands, maybe millions of lives. He chose to die a hero, and the heroes of this war will be remembered and honored forever. There's someone I'd like you to meet. That sounds ominous. Okay. Let's get going. Lead me to this person. I'm going to summon my, uh, my fleshy boy. Always forget to summon him. Although I don't think I'm going to be in a fight right now. You never really know. They might come out of nowhere. Wait, Where, where's he leading me? Where is this person? You lead me into a little corner. Our visitor may cause alarm, so privacy is paramount. All right, okay. Sire, it's now safe to reveal yourself. Oh Christ! Hello. Greetings, Marshal Traherne. As you've requested, I've come to honor my oath. Excellent. Let's speak with the commander and give you an assignment. All right. Let's see what they got to say then. What's my next mission? Thank you for your patience, Commander. Allow me to introduce the revered Sire Al-Rajid. In the name of the Concordat of the Tetyos Houses, I greet you, ally of my ally. It's an honor, Sire. I've heard that your people don't meet with land dwellers. You speak truth. I have long owed Treven. Now at last he has called upon me to honor my oath. Scouts have discovered a sixth temple in awe. A lost shrine to a fallen god, hidden underwater in the Strait of Malediction. Abaddon, the human god of secrets, was cast out of Ara by the other deities, and his name was erased from history. Very little remained. Zaitan craves something inside that temple, so we must get there first. Sire will accompany you as a guide. Tell me, Commander, can you fight? Is your oath made of steel? You'll need all your skills to travel with me. I have yet to meet anything I couldn't overcome. Intriguing. I look forward to this, Commander. Until then, may your steps be relentless. Okay, alright then. Let's uh, let's get going. So if we exit out of this instance here, and let's have a look where we've got to go. Alright, okay, so meet Saya Al Rahid inside the cathedral. Alright, let's have a look where we're looking. Someone cover me in my golem while I make the Okay, right in the middle of the ocean, apparently. Fantastic. Can't wait for that. Alright, mount up. Let's see where we've got to go. So, you know, potentially at this point you may have, um, if you've uh, explored further, you might have unlocked a uh, closer waypoint. So obviously if that's the case, and just travel there. But I'll just show you the way to get there from here, which is... Um, 
just straight up here, I think. Yeah, if I can just cut through here and then just make my way along the land because it'd be a lot quicker because you're going to slow down if you try swimming everywhere. So, uh, just a couple of updates since I uh, last did a part um, on this character. I've leveled it to level 80 now, so it's, we're at the start of chapter 8 of the main personal story. So, I'll just grab this waypoint here as well. Uh, so, yeah, we need to be level 80 to do this mission. So, you would have had to have leveled up a bit. Uh, when I got to level 80, I've actually unlocked the um, elite spec, the, the Reaper as well. So, I've got that going, so I'll be showing that off, like the great sword weapon as well as some of the... Uh, Cool exclusive skills and the new um, the the new version of the Death Shroud, the Reaper Shroud, which is really awesome as well. So I'm looking forward to to showing that off. Although it doesn't bode well that the mission is in the middle of the sea. Oh, I get caught in that because uh, I don't know if it's going to be quite a lot underwater. Which is, <laughs> if you watch any Marvel videos, is not my favourite uh, during the underwater combat. But let's see how we get on. So. So we need to get into the ocean, so it's quite far in here, so I'm just going to have to swim for it at this point. Um, saying that, I don't think I haven't got this, I've got the skimmer, but I don't think I've got the uh, underwater skimmer thing that they have now. So I'll just do the old fashioned swimming. There was a time before we had mounts in Guild Wars 2, if anyone remembers, <laughs> where we didn't actually get to just mount everywhere. And we actually had to run, believe it or not. It seems crazy now, it seems like oh, it'll take ages to get anywhere, but... That is how it was before. Um, okay, so I think we're nearly there. So just just over here. So we're looking for an entrance to a cathedral. So some sort of underwater cathedral. I think they said it's a, it's a cathedral for uh, Abaddon, who's the uh, uh, one of the fallen human gods that if you played the original Guild Wars, specifically Guild Wars Nightfall, you would have uh, seen quite a lot with that because Abaddon was one of the gods. Just kill this guy. Oh yeah, the underwater combat, my favourite. Nice. Alright. Easy peasy. There's a few here. Should we kill it? We've got some people to help up. There's an event going on of some sort. Obviously I'm not going to get too much into that, but let's just kill these guys. But yeah, with, with Abaddon, um, he was one of the gods of the humans. Um, he, well, he was always a bit of an arsehole, I think. And the, uh, um, the humans fought back against him and you teamed up with... Uh, uh, some of the characters in, in Guild Wars Nightfall and you, you brought Abaddon down. You actually replace Abaddon with a new god, which is Cormir, who you uh, will come into contact at some point. So, so at this stage in uh, you know, the timeline of Tyria, Cormir is one of the human gods, but in Guild Wars 1, Cormir was actually a character uh, that became a god, so that was pretty interesting. And I think later on in the, uh, in the story, I think in the uh, Path of Fire, campaign you do actually touch on that a little bit as well because that that goes back to Alona which is where Nightfall set let me just get these guys back up whenever I see anyone that's down or, or like any even as an NPC I feel like I've got to uh, help them up I feel obliged I have a title for it you know you get titles for unlocking achievements <laughs> I've got one specifically for reviving people so maybe I don't know if that everyone has that but it's just one that I, I specifically do that quite a lot, I think. Um, okay, so just got to find the entrance to the cathedral. I would have thought that would be that door there. I don't know if the, the event is messing with it at all. I'm not entirely sure. Have a little swim. Okay, there you go. Look, continue the story. I don't know. It doesn't look like the entrance, but fair enough. I'll take it. So we're going to carry on with Temple of the Forgotten God. So we're going to meet Sae. Let's... Hello. I am here, Commander. Let's have a chat, shall we? In the name of the Concordat, I greet you, Commander. The way ahead is dark and uncompromising. Exactly what I'd expect from the ancient temple of a dead god. Yes, of course. The Risen have already bypassed the wards and breached the temple. We must exterminate them. Be warned. There are dangers here not of the dragon. Powers ancient and unseen still occupy these halls. Okay, powers ancient and unseen. That's what we want to hear. Fantastic. All right, so let's go for a swim. So investigate the Cathedral of Hidden Death. All right. Orion Crab, bring it on. So yeah, annoyingly, yeah. So I've just got my new spec and all of my new... Um, Oh, this, this is the underwater Reaper Shroud, actually. Oh, you can see the, uh, the damage it does there. I think that's pretty similar to the uh, 
to the normal Reaper Shroud, actually, to be fair. It's just the, the Great Sword, which is a really cool weapon. I, I should be able to show it off a bit later in the mission, hopefully. I assume it's not all underwater. God, I hope not. Okay, so something we can interact with there. Let's just clear this room first. Get these guys killed. Bring it on, fishies. Oh, God, is that a shark? Yeah. I think one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of underwater combat is that I don't really, because I don't do it very often, so I don't really know all the skills. So I'm sort of button bashing a little bit rather than actually using the skills in like a logical order. Not too difficult, obviously, the difficulty with this. So, Alright, so if we interact with this, oh, we're gonna, alright, so I assume we're gonna fight this person. They're gonna turn bad in a minute. Alright, there you go. Devoted of the Deep. So we've got ourselves a veteran here. Uh, one single veteran. Um, we've got an NPC helping us here, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'll get my fleshy boy to help me out as well. Yeah, so that's pretty easy. I don't think you should trouble too much with that. Uh, they didn't really seem to have any hard hits. So, that person is now dead. So, let's see. Is he going to... Okay, illusory essence. I think we need that. Alright, can we place it somewhere? Let's go back over here. So we've got the essence. Okay, so I assume it's this thing, yeah, at the start that we can interact with. So let's stick it here. The currents shift. The ocean's flow changes. These shrines and orbs must be how we gain entry. Okay, so a door is opened. That's good news, so we can get further on. Alright, so we've done that now, so we've done that part of the objective, so we move on to the next part. So I think we've got to swim up. Okay, up here. Oh, we've got some fight music going on. Oh, there you go, look, there's some enemies. Go on, bring it on. Use my spear. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's carry on going. Alright, so we've got another one of these things, which is where you place that essence, so... What's that? Oh, it's just some trident thing. Okay, yeah, so we need to place the essence here, so... I assume we need to find one of those little pillar things that we interact with. Risen Mine. I assume I want to shoot these from a distance. I don't really want to get blown up, so I'll just use my ranged weapon. Okay, oh look, one of those shrines, excellent. Probably kill the enemies first before uh, uh, summoning another one. Well, some of these skills are actually pretty cool for underwater, uh, I suppose. Uh, cool to see like some different animations as well. I just, you know, I think I should probably spend time learning the skills, but you don't really spend a lot of time just hanging out underwater, so I suppose you don't really spend too much time looking at it. Right, activate the switch. All right, here we go. Round two. Devoted of illusions. Alright, another vet. So, once again, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a problem um, for you guys now. She'll be level 80 as well, so you can take a single veteran. I would hope at this point, especially if you've got an elite spec like that, and you can use the Reaper Shroud, which absolutely dominate him. Fantastic. Alright, I assume we're waiting for him to drop the essence. Oh, look, swimming backwards. That's pretty cool. Having a lay down underwater. Alright, so we've got the essence, so let's swim back this way, so investigate the altar of secrets, let's keep going, some enemies there, so if I use this, oh, did that work? Okay, just killed his enemies first, oh yeah, look, it's lighting up, I think it did the trick. Oh yeah, fantastic, alright, brilliant, so it didn't do like a little cutscene thing, so... I'm not sure 100% what way it's opened. <laughs> did it? It didn't really show it, did it? So I suppose I'll just go for a little swim. Is this the... This is the way I came, isn't it? This is the... Yeah, that's the one I've already activated. My bad. So let's go back the way it was. So it's up here. Swim. Did this open or is this just through to here? Because that's the one... That's the one that I just activated, isn't it? Well, the one that I just fought the guy. So that's not open, so it's not that way. Um, bear with me a second, let's have a look. So if I swim through here... 
just seeing if there's any open passages that are these are all dead ends so you can see it has activated properly it's not that it didn't but it didn't open a door right there you would have thought maybe it would open that one but no nope, fair enough so let's swim out here what other directions are there up what's up upward direction can I get out of here probably can't can't jump up there can I can't quite reach it oh god is that an enemy oh look she's fighting something yeah look I can't, I can't let me get up there so must be underneath the water what we got here oh could that be it that's a subtle little passageway yeah, annoyingly it didn't show us that that would have been a lot easier if it's shown us where it actually opened or if it had a uh, an objective pointed towards it all right okay look oh yes here we go great sword fear the reaper boys fear the reaper okay all right so we've got another one of these totem shrine things oh it's such a cool move I'll tell you oh god absolutely smashed him i'll tell you what as well one of the best things about the greatsword isn't just like the damage it does, but it is the sound effects it makes. Let's demonstrate that when this guy appears. Where are ya? Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. Alright, over here. Fair enough. Just put some AoE on your head, but look. Oh, listen to that smashing sound. Yeah, some really cool sound effects for some of these. I think quite a lot of the elite spec weapons, like... Obviously, when they've been bringing out the um, the elite specs with the expansions, you know they've been making things a bit cooler, either cooler animations, cooler sounds, and stuff like that. Which is, you know, fair enough. Uh, you want to be doing that. Did that drop the essence? Let's just oh, let's kill the enemies first. I think the essence might be back there. With the, by the totem thing. Oh, oh, okay. Stay alert. Stay alive. All right. Oh yeah. Reaper shroud. See, this is the best thing about the um, the necromancer. It's like. Oh no, I'm running out of health. Like, if you're, you know, any other character, you're thinking, oh crap, I need to, like, roll around heal and stuff. Uh, but I'm just like, nope, got a whole new health bar, just use my Reaper Shroud or Death Shroud or whatever it may be, and yeah, let's go pick this up. And then I can uh, stay alive loads longer. I mean, you sort of get a bit lazy, though, is there anything, maybe? Like, I should maybe be doing more dodging and stuff, and you will when you get to, like, high level content, but most of the personal story is relatively straightforward. At least the initial personal story the expansions get quite a lot harder, but we'll be getting onto that at some point. Alright, okay, so now we're up here now. Above the ledge. Let's kill these people. Rot mouth. Oh, that's fancy now. Lovely. You almost forget that you've got another weapon set. I've got the axe and the uh, the warhorn here. It's still a pretty good weapon set, to be honest. I mean, massively overshadowed by the greatsword, which is definitely the more powerful one of the two. But okay, listen to her speak. Yeah, but yeah, so it's still pretty good. All right, so let's activate both of these at the same time because I can. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's probably I'd just be quicker. I could fight two vets at once if they come together. I assume. The other one. They come at the same time. Maybe. That one's dead. Oh look, this one's over here in the corner shooting arrows. Come on, bring it on. So if I get yeah, Reaper Shroud, absolutely dominate. Spin and attack. Let's hit the number five. Oh, the number five is like some awesome, like a uh, big uh, hit. The like power up and it chills the enemies and stuff. That's really cool. Alright, so we're going to have two loads of essences, I assume. Yep, because there's two of these. Okay. Oh, look, there's the other one. So pick up both the essences that they drop. It doesn't always drop where you kill them, I think. It, it can drop over by the shrine thing, so, so do double check there. You don't think you've lost it. Okay. Something's wrong. We must be swift. Okay. Something's wrong. Oh. Intruders, you trespass on the dragon's lands. You do serve Zaitan. No, slave creature. We serve our oaths, and those oaths demand your death. So be it. To death and beyond. Alright, there's some real ugly bastards there. Alright, so the Eye of Zaitan. Is he going? 
Oh, that's going away. We're going to fight this guy. Oh, get out of the way of that. What have we got? So it's, it's like a, it's a champion, but it seems to be going down pretty quick. It's just a risen general. It's nothing to... Yeah, it seems to be going down pretty quick. Taking a bit of damage here, so do be careful. I mean, um, you know, if you haven't got like your elite spec, you're not quite as powerful and everything. You know, you will have to be careful here. Make sure you put down any AoEs and stuff. Uh, dodge out of the way of these red circles as well. But overall, uh, as champions go, it seems relatively straightforward. There you go. Excellent. Nice amount of XP there as well. Okay, buried forever does not sound good, so let's get out of it. Oh, Christ, yeah, make sure you land in the water there, otherwise you might hurt yourself. Alright, so I think we're just swimming down, down and out. I think this is the door out, isn't it? Oh yeah, look, you can see on your mini-map there, you've got the uh, um, green mark there, so we'll swim towards that. Speak, speak with say. Alright, let's have a little chat, shall we? Well fought and well won. Most impressive, my ally. It was victory, but we still lost the artifact. True, but we've made a dragon no fear. That commander is a victory to relish. Maybe we can still salvage this. What do you know about that creature we faced? I do not know for certain. What is certain is that you've just encountered two of Zaitan's most powerful servants, and that they escaped your grasp. Not for long. I'm reporting to Traherne right away. We'll see if we can't organize a pursuit. I will also carry this news when I return to be freed from my oath. May your steps be relentless, Hunter. Best go. Report to the almighty Traherne. I'm sure he'll offer us nuggets of wisdom that we can use. All right, so those Zaitans, um, like the Eye of Zaitan and everything, they got away. So um, we just need to report to Marshal Traherne at Fort Trinity. So obviously no need to swim all the way back. Let's just go onto the map. And we've got the Fort Trinity waypoint, so we just go straight there. And then it's just, uh, it should, shouldn't be far away from there. Okay, so, all right, yeah, we just spawn here. So, yep, yeah, literally just over here. Whack out your mount, because, you know, so lazy now, I can't go 10 feet without whacking my mount out. Enter the instance, and we're gonna go speak to Traherne and see if we can get this mission finished off. Okay. Excuse me. It's always surrounded by people. I must speak with the commander. I shall send for the rest of you. Sir. Yeah, get rid of this lot. Speak to the commander. I'm more important. Okay, so we came up short. So, an eye and a mouth. The eye concerns me more. It always precedes an attack by Zaitan's horde, so it must become our new priority. Agreed. So I have two possible avenues. Either we lure the eye in with irresistible bait, or we cove its territory until we find it. Either way, once we locate it. Okay, so we've an enchanted Orion mirror. So we can use an enchanted Orion mirror to um, to lure it in. And the other option is a direct attack, which is we flood the eye's territory with scouts and soldiers. As soon as we acquire reliable information, we storm its position and kill it. I'm going to go with the direct approach this time, I think. Uh, not so much faffing about. Um, got some special allies waiting to join us, he said there. All right, interesting. Special allies. Okay, so Temple of the Forgotten God completed. So choose a uh, uh, one of these jewels, bag of craft and supplies, bag of loot. All right, so accept that. Excellent. All right, so we've got our XP there. So that is the uh, Temple of the Forgotten God completed. So I'll be back soon with the uh, next part of the personal story. So like and subscribe to be kept up to date. And thank you for watching.